Hi guys, so today I have these new markers that Dime Press has brought to HSN to share with you. Uh, they brought something similar in the past. I believe those were metallic and like maybe darker colors. These are pastels and I believe they're a mixture of metallic and um, just like a pastel color, right? So let's open this up. So these items were sent free of charge from my review and of course all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you're a purchase items through those links. So what's really great about acrylic markers is that they're essentially acrylic paint in a marker, so you can control it really easily. Basically paint on almost any surface. Um, definitely porous items, you know, paper and things like that. Uh, packaging, like gift packaging, stuff like that. Um, should be able to paint on glass and like plastic surfaces, acetate, things like that. So let's check them out and then we'll just play. I did stop at the Dollar Tree and I picked up a bunch of different things that we can color on and I have an example of something that I'll show you that I've had for many years that these kinds of things remind me of um, like the kind of thing you can do acrylic paint markers 12 dual tip markers in pastel and yeah I can see that these have like a shimmer look to them and these are more of your basic colors um, what I did last time around, I believe I wrote them on some white paper and I wrote on some black paper just so you would have you know just, just so you can see what that looks like and so I think I'll do that this time because they are opaque I mean they should be opaque being acrylic markers uh, let's I'm trying to pop them out this way so we can just kind of play with them um, so yeah I think just to get to it that's what I'll do I believe you do have to oh no I think they're ready to go are they ready to go yeah I suppose because there's no way to um, get them going because you have that pretty um, brush tip and then the bullet and to push on that brush tip would probably not be the best thing so let me grab some paper and we'll look at the colors and then um we'll go from there okay so i'm thinking the best way to do this well let's just have some paper let's start with the metallic side i'll go that way and i'm gonna use the brush tip side just so you have a good look of what this looks like and i think i did this last time so there's that and then i can do it here and I'll just go through and do that with all of them. Again, the bullet tip side is smaller. I'll just do an example here for you. Although it still has a nice um, paint surface. See what I'm saying? It's not too small. Okay, just so you can see that. But there they are. And I'll show you this up close. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and go through all the colors and just squiggle them out Okay, right here. And I'll be right back. just amazed by these <laughs> they're so pretty i love the pastel look how opaque they are though right so this is the shimmer and you can see the silveriness kind of like that 80s marker where you see the silver and the color really pretty and then these are just popping and then over here same thing with the silver metallic look at that look how cool it looks on the black and then how nice and opaque these guys are over here really cool so I wanted to show you a little something I've had for many many years my oldest son is 23 now this is when he was probably four because he was in kindergarten he didn't turn five until end of October and um, so he's always one of the bigger kids and just always did well he's just such a smarty but this was him right here <laughs> and um, this is the kind of thing I used to see all the time in boutiques like you could go and they will personalize things and we did things like this when I was in my sorority super cute I mean look at the little ruler some little ideas for you guys I just I love this kind of thing and I even remember growing up in my little town really there was like a little boutique place the coffee and candy it was called it might still be there I don't really know um, and they would do things like that all the time and they were just so cute I always thought and they would have like acrylic boxes you know like those plastic boxes with a little lid and they decorate it and or just put the person's name or whatever it is so I've always been fascinated by that kind of design but these will definitely help you do that now I want to show you oh so like I said I stopped at the Dollar Tree they had things like this I mean you can 
definitely decorate this. I think it has a plastic coating on it. I don't know if it's on this side or on the, yeah. So, we had something like this. We will definitely take that off. Sorry guys, I'll do this. <laughs> I'll take it off off camera because I know that sounds not great. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is a 4x6 frame. Um, I'm just going to have some fun and just play around. I don't know what size this paper is. I think it's going to be too big. Yeah, but you know, maybe I'll just slide this. I'm sliding this in here just so I can see what I'm doing. Just a piece of paper. And kind of help you out. Just so you can kind of see what's going on. And then, you know, I mean, maybe you want to draw. Well, let's use this guy. Um, you know, I'll use the finer tip one. Just something easy that you can do, like a little flower. You know what I'm saying? Like a little posy kind of flower. And maybe we're going to do a little something there. And then maybe on this side, same thing. These are acrylic, so it does mean that they're water-based. So let's say you don't like it. Like, as soon as you do this and you're like, oh, I didn't really like the way that came out. Just go ahead and grab, um some water and just wash it off okay but you want to do that pretty quickly because after a while it is going to set up now I mean I can make this flower completely colored in it doesn't have to be just like a little loopy flower so let's just color it in and then we'll do a center on it in just a moment so I'm going to color this one in I'm going to let that set up and then we'll get some maybe something to do some leaves with okay that's cute I brought out a ton of surfaces, so um, let me see. Should we go with this line kind of green? Where did I put my samples? Are over there? Yeah, sure. Maybe this guy just needs like a little leaf here. And maybe one over here, too. I'm doing this by hand, but I'll show you another one where we're going to use a stencil and see how that works for us. And maybe there. And then maybe some little vines, you know, just really dress it up. Super cute. I'm pretty much going to wait for this center to dry before we add like a little flower center. Okay, so I'm just going to put this to the side for now. But yeah, a little flower frame. Again, that's acrylic. And it works really well. Um, oh, we have things like little clippies. You know, if you're going to make something cute. Or maybe you have like a little Easter. I did pick up a lot of things that are Easter related. Um, maybe you want to put like jelly beans or whatever it might be and then clip it to whatever bowl or serving container or whatever it might be so let's pretend we're going to do that and let's just use like this darker color why not i'm again using this side whenever i write when i do projects like this cause like i said in the sorority or like you saw on there the case the one has like these little dots it just is the cutest style to use so however you want to come up with that you can look online and find cute styles um if I'm, gonna write, I'm just going to write it so, you know, I'm just kind of eyeballing in my mind how big this should be. But let's say we had jelly and then little dots. You can come back and do the dots later. You don't have to do them right now. But it's usually a dot for my E's and then I go around and another little dot there and there for the L at the top and at the bottom. Little dot, little dot. So let's say jelly beans and then of course you can do this in a fun way I write it pretty much straight across but you can be more playful with it dot here dot here dot here on my A I do a little old school A <laughs> and sometimes they'll put dots you know other places but for now something like that it just says jelly beans the cute little dots <laughs> and adorable um, let's see what else. I, like I said, I brought out a lot of things, guys. Um, okay, so we have those guys. A little clippy. Oh, this happened to only be 50 cents at the Dollar Tree. So I don't know if they're two for a dollar or if they're from last year. I don't know why it came up 50 cents, but that's what they did. It's galvanized like metal. Um, of course, galvanized metal can be outside. I don't know how long this will last outside, um, if it might wash off after it rains so much or however but you know it can hang on your door inside the house whatever it is you like and what I'm gonna do is take this I'm gonna take the brush side and I'm just gonna put dots I'm not the greatest at like drawing a little face but you can definitely draw a little whatever you like but let's say you just want to decorate this little guy with little dots randomly everywhere so I'm gonna let that one go off the edge look a little more random maybe this one here just color it in maybe some more over here so what I'm gonna do is just take lots of different colors that I think would look cute with this and just kind of go in and do that 
And again off the side, just so it looks a little more organic. Should put a little something in behind this to keep me from going off the edge and coloring my mat. But something like that, right? Okay. And I'm going to continue coloring in. And I'm sorry it's freaking out my camera because of <laughs> the galvanized nature. Um, but I'm going to keep playing and I'll be right back. something behind there just in case but that was really easy and look how cute much more stylized you know match it with the colors of things that are in your decor or however that is really really cute and just organically placing the dots here and there you know super adorable um oh you know i also got um some things that have to do with candles so just glass i mean you can definitely just draw whatever it is you like on there um you know, I was going to do more flowers, but let's put that one to the side for a moment. This is also, uh, at the Dollar Tree, what they call a glass holder, I suppose. Look, it's a candle holder, basically. Or it can just be a little mirror, I mean, if you want to make that. But it does have the pads on the back for it to be more of like a coaster for your candle. And I'm sorry that you're going to see everything that's up here, <laughs> including my camera. Um, I was just going to grab a stencil, and I thought, you know, maybe we can follow a stencil and go that way. So let's do purple on this one. And I'm going to do the fine side. And I'm putting it on the outer corners because if this is meant to be for a candle, I'd rather have that out here. And I'm so sorry. Hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing. But I'm just pushing against the very edge of the stencil so that I can color this. Or not color, but trace it first. And then if you want to color it in, you can definitely do that. Or you can just leave the traced outline of the flower. Right? So that kind of starts you off. And you don't have to do everything by hand. And then I'll come in with this guy, and I can color it in. Sorry, guys, about the way it looks. It's my setup, and that's what it is, so there you go. And so I'll just continue kind of coloring this in. <laughs> you hear that? Juiciness. I am super impressed with these guys, though. I know the last set flew out, and have not been restocked. So if this is something you like, you probably want to grab those so we have that again it's pretty juicy I can wash this off because again it's acrylic you know water-based paint um, if I wanted to do another layer we are gonna let that set up I don't know if I have you know it's kind of wet right now but let's say you want to come in and do some leaves you can definitely do that right so just an idea something to think about but I'll finish that up um, in a timely manner let me see if this one's ready and I was just going to grab a center, and I suppose I can go with just, like, yellow. I know we have the metallic one, too, but I wanted to kind of get on there and just pop. So, as you can see, you can build your layers if you would like. And this is just something cute and simple. There you go. Let me grab uh, one other thing. Oh, no, two other things. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. And, you know, things like this, like... These little containers, I pretty much get one of these every year for my kids. Um, I usually recycle them, to be honest, because they're plastic. They're not going to go anywhere. Um, so Miranda likes to keep hers for a long time and still plays with them and keeps them, you know. So um, with this one, you know, maybe I want to write Miranda. Um, she loves pink and purple, so we're going to go with pink. And again, I mean, you can use the brush side, but I'm going to use this side. And... You know, do I want to write her name this way, or just across here, or whatever it is. And Miranda, uh, having the seven letters, let me think, Mer, and uh, so maybe I'll start with the A in the center. So the A of the center of her name, right? Like I said, you don't have to do the little guys, and you can put another one here. Sometimes people like to do that too, so if you want another one there, go ahead. That's an A, sorry. Um, and then I do the N. And I'm kind of curving it just a little bit. And then from there, you know, I'll kind of go in the other direction. There's the D, maybe a little loop on there. 
And I'm just doing this in the air for some reason, but I should probably put it down. I just want you guys to see it better. So there's an A. If that A, you know, came out different from that one, I can definitely wipe it away. Actually, I'll show you that. I'll be right back. This is towel with just some water on it. Paper towel, water. Again, it's acrylic, so you want to get in there pretty quickly after you make your oopsie if you don't like it and wipe it away. And no harm, no foul. But it will set up pretty well once it's dry. You can even see it's already wanting to do that. So unless I pick it away, not really going to go away. So that's fine. And I'll continue maybe in this other side while this dries, even though I wiped it away. So my R. Right? And let's do this guy again. Just need to be a little bit bigger, that's all. Yeah, I should probably wait a little bit longer. I'm probably going to go over that again with the marker. You can, like, like you saw earlier, I went over the marker. So I'll do that again for that one. And then my M over here. And... There's that. And then I'll go over the A again. Just because, like I said, you wanted to let it dry and it's a little bit wet, I guess. So there's that. And then, you know, personalizing. Um, and then... Oh, this is the last thing I grabbed for you guys. Of course, paper. So they had these baking cups that I thought were really cute, but I thought, well, I love the design on here, and what if you put kids' names on them? Because, you know, whenever you have a little party, little treats start going out, and maybe you want to put their names on so they don't get mixed up or something they serve themselves or whatever it is. So let me grab one of these little guys. I'll be right back. Sorry, I was just trying to separate those out, and it was a little harder than I thought, and I had to pin my hand and all that. But anyway, so let's say we have this cute... I mean, how cute are these? Oh, my gosh. And I'll just find a spot that makes it probably easier to write, and maybe I'll take this and this time I'm just gonna write the names pretty quickly I'm not going to decorate them all cute but you know if I wrote Dorian that's one of my other little ones <laughs> he's 14 I'm sure he doesn't appreciate being called little one but again on paper it writes really well now let's say you do want to decorate it okay fine we'll put our little dots on those you can definitely google like dot alpha bet or something um, and you'll see how to decorate something like this. I just went with the regular A on that one. And little dots here and there. It makes it cuter. <laughs> That's all you need. Um, yeah, so uh, that is that. Maybe I'll play with this one a little bit. You know, uh, I'll come back and finish up this glass one because like I said, it needs to dry. It looks like it's pretty much there already. So, um, you know, again, I'll take my stencil and, and come in. You know, that was a shimmery one, but maybe I'll pair it with something that's not shimmery, maybe this guy or maybe just a leaf part and not that little stem part of it and just color that in just go around the edge like I did right inside Look, there's a little leaf there got a little extra schmutz here, a little extra of the color I don't want so I'll just kind of pick it away with my nail or you can have a q-tip with water which is probably best and just go in there clean that up and I can do the same thing with this other side if that's what I want to do you know or just have the one leaf but I can put this one on this side or turn it over so it's exactly the same just uh, facing the opposite way lots of fun ways to play with these guys so I'll have some images coming up I'll show you the different projects that we worked on actually let me clean up a little bit and I'll do that right now hey guys so um these are a few of the items we worked on. So as we started off, we had our samples. Like, I mean, on paper, this is going to look really pretty. Oh, you know what I was thinking? A lot of times I'll do, like, stained glass things where I have, like, a die cut that's, like, a silhouette. And you can stick it on, like, a piece of acetate. And then on the back, I would color with alcohol ink markers. And that's still kind of transparent, but you can definitely do, you know, turn over color on the acetate um, with these guys. And it'll look really, really pretty, like, really pretty and opaque. I think that would be really nice. But anyhow, something to think about. So we have those guys. And then we worked on just a few different things. We have like a little frame again. You can slide a little picture in there or calendar, whatever it is you would like to do with that. We have just writing on like um, the chalkboard kind of stuff, right? This one happens to be a little tag. Uh, we have just writing on 
paper. Oh, this is not the one. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. <laughs> this is the one we wrote on. That's the one I separated out, but there you go. Nice and clear. It looks really cute. Again, because they're so opaque, it just really pops, you know? So you have those kinds of things. I just color on this little galvanized guy that's going to go on my door, like, right now. As soon as I'm done here, I'm going to go hang that up after my pictures. Um... We had this written on plastic, and I had a little Miranda, maybe Happy Easter, or maybe some little Easter eggs. I mean, all those little motifs that you like to draw, little squigglies, little cute things you can put on there. And then we have this guy, again, with a candle and just like a quickly done, hello, there I am, uh, flower. Super cute. And then right now, I think that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll do like a little border on this, maybe some little Easter eggs that would be cute, right? Just like, just hand-drawn little eggs. So... Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you so much, uh, Diane Press for sending these items for review. Like I said, these are super popular. Last time these flew out and they were gone, and so now they have pastel colors that are really, really pretty. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll have the images coming up. I'll have the links in the description box, possibly in the little um, like shopping bag right here, and I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now. Music